If you've been on the verge of literally pulling your hair out, trying to figure out how to find a winning product, this video is for you. No matter how good you think your marketing skills are, if you have a terrible product, you can literally kiss your dreams of having a mansion and a Lambo goodbye. And trust me, after I got my master's degree in internet marketing, my ego went through the roof and I thought I could turn water into wine. But guess what? My store still failed because I I had a horrible product. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the exact framework and strategies I use to scale winning products, not only for myself, but for my clients as well, so you can have similar success. Now, the very first thing that you need to understand is how to spot a winning product in the first place. I can almost guarantee you that you come across winning products all the time, just simply scrolling on social media, but you probably don't even realize it. Now, there are several factors that a product has to get right if you want any chance of success. However, I believe there are four factors that are literally the most important that you definitely want to look out for. So the first factor that you want to look for when you're trying to find that winning product is you definitely want the product to be unique and have some type of wow factor. So a perfect example of this is the floating plant and this went viral uh, a couple of months back i believe and personally when i saw this i thought this product was super dope especially for somebody like me that does not care about like decor and art and all that aesthetic stuff right but even when i saw it, i was like yo i need to purchase this right now this could be fire on my desk so you definitely want to find a product that definitely brings out that emotional response to buy definitely keep this in mind when you're trying to find products with a uh, wow factor or is unique the second thing that you want to look out for is you want to make sure that the product has a good profit margin okay because when you move on to your testing phase which i recommend using facebook ads but i'll get to that a little bit later you definitely want as much profit margin as possible so ten dollars or less is a very tight window and so it's probably not going to be profitable to run facebook ads at this point with only a ten dollar profit margin at twenty dollars is a little bit better but it's still, I would recommend a little bit tight. You can test it if you want, but really the sweet spot is anything $30 and above, okay? So the more profit margin, the better, but honestly, anything under $20, unless you're really good at marketing and you already have a good understanding of your market itself and the target audience and demo and all that other stuff, anything under 20, I would not recommend, especially for a new drop shipper. So the third factor that you want to consider is that you want to make sure when you're finding a winning product, it has mass market appeal. If you go after a product that doesn't have a large audience, for one, more than likely when you try to run Facebook ads, it's going to be very, very hard to run the ads profitably because the audience sizes is way too small. And then on top of that, if you don't have a lot of interest of the product itself, you're probably not going to get a lot of sales and you're really going to struggle. So if you have mass market appeal, you know, it allows you to scale the product a little bit faster and, you know, it won't die out as fast because you can go after a large market and really take a lot of market share. Now, the fourth factor that you definitely want to consider when trying to find a winning product is you want to make sure that the product either adds value or solves a problem immediately. Now, the example that I gave earlier about the floating plant, now this product doesn't necessarily solve a problem, but it definitely adds value because if I were to purchase the product and I put it in my you know, desk area, I think it will be dope, right? It'll add a lot of value to the space. It'll look good. I'll feel good looking at it, right? And it's just, like I said, aesthetically pleasing. So that's the value that that 
you know, plant ads. Now, a problem solving product would be something like the door lock that has gotten very, very popular. I'll show it on the screen, right? A lot of people when they travel, you know, a lot of people break in. Well, I wouldn't want to say a lot of people, but you get the point. A lot of break ins happen overseas when people travel and, you know, they get scared. They want that added sense of security. So this product, you know, is a really dope product because it's small and it just adds that layer of protection and security that people want. Now, to be honest with you, trying to find a product with all four of these factors is going to be extremely difficult. And if it wasn't, you would probably see way more six to seven figure drop shippers. And you may not even know where to look in the first place. Now you could scroll through Facebook and TikTok all day trying to find winning products, but I'm here to tell you that it's going to be a waste of time and it's horribly inefficient. I personally recommend using some type of ad spy tool and there are plenty of good ones out there. I'm going to link in the description down below my personal favorites. They all have different pros and cons, but it's really just going to boil down to what features you think you personally want and need. But overall, this is a much faster and easier way to find winning products that are fresh and new that have just hit the market. So what you want to do is go through these ad spy tools. I'd recommend using the tools that allow you to filter, you know, to see how long the ads have been running. That way you can see what products people are testing right now in real time. And as long as these products fit the four criteria that I talked about earlier in the video, these might be products that you definitely wanna test yourself. Also, by using these ad spy tools, you're able to see the marketing angles and the creatives that these advertisings are using to scale the winning products. And you may be able to find different ways that you can improve upon you know, their own marketing strategy. So when you go to test the product, you can see even better results. Now, the second way to find winning products is to go after untapped products. These are products that haven't been tested before by other advertisers and they honestly have the highest return of investment. To be fair, these products are almost like trying to find a needle in a haystack, but if you can find one, they can definitely transform your life. I personally recommend that you search through sites like AliExpress to find untapped products. Now make sure that your browser is in incognito mode so it doesn't show you products based on your own user behavior and browser history. Now to be fair, you're probably gonna have to go through hundreds and hundreds of products until you find a few products that you think make sense. But once you find a product, you wanna make sure that the product hasn't been tested before by another drop shipper. So what you want to do is make sure that you type the product name in Facebook, TikTok, or any drop shipping, you know, ad spy tool to see if that product shows up. Now, if the product doesn't show up, then that means you're in the clear to start testing. I personally recommend that you try to find at least five to 10 products when you're going through this product research phase. This way, if a product fails, you have other products that you can pivot to quickly because timing is everything. So now that you have the product or products that you want to test, I recommend that you use Facebook ads to start testing your products. And I recommend that you check out this video right here so you can learn how to run Facebook ads effectively. 